Good morning, Rav Boisai. Ah, do you know what I'm saying? I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to I made it, I made it. The truth is, the time I was in Israel for almost a month, he would have aim. He had to do the daf, he fell behind. And then he did three, four daf. He didn't listen to me, he says, but he did three, four daf at night. It's harder than plumbing. Baruch Hashem, this was the Shabbos, I'm back to date. The problem is, he says, that he learned that he could do three, four daf a day. So what excuse does he have not to do three, four daf every day? I'll try Mir Hashem to start from Bruchas until Rosh Hashunah Daf Chof, where I started with you, Mir Hashem. I never in my life learned so much Gemura. All right, Bikitzer, you never learned so much Gemura. G E M U R E, Gemura, but one day maybe I'll make it into Koilal, etc., etc., from Shloimi. I love this present that his wife got him. You see, Labali, Hamashkia, Belimit, Atoiro. Stenders from the wife. Hi Rivelli, and in the MDY team, I'm Avi Mandelbaum's brother. Now that I'm done learning for Avi Siem Shnais, I started to catch up again Daf Yoimi. To be honest, so the brother didn't really do Daf Yoimi, but when Avi went into the hospital, his brother decided to take it up for him. To be honest, it's emotionally difficult to do this. One small technical note, my father's name is Aaron Moshe. Yeah, we fixed that, but other people don't know that yet. Making my little brother's name, I have Menashe, Ben, Aaron, Moshe. Um, again, thanks for all the times you mentioned something in his memory. It makes my learning from him that much easier. I was deeply saddened to see that another person was nifted from the shir. Again, your remarks on the sign Sally were beautiful. Yossi Mandelbaum, Yishikoyach. In New York, I learned to dive with you before in between patients. I started, I usually do it at 1.75 speed. This past Friday, so I did that 30. I was lucky enough to be there in person at a regular speed. Good thing because I was able to really understand the whole thing. This is the third time around Shas. And as an extra reward, I brought along my 11-year-old Anakul, who Rabbi Greenman told me, he was sitting right next to him, and this is what it says here in the email. He has to join a nachas for me to hear him talk out the whole Tum and Tyra concept almost simultaneously with you, right? He was sitting there saying it out. Right before I was saying it, he was saying what, what's going to happen. Huh? He has Hadras Ponim. He has Hadras Ponim, says. <laughs> what, what you see here is that you can teach kids Tum and Tyre and they can know a cold. If you get it to them in an early age, it becomes part of them. And he's in my son's school, but somehow I guess he has. They don't learn Tum and Tyre in my son's school. Maybe he has on the side something. Izzy Bachner Q36. One more. I've been a member since, of MDY since Moy Cotton, but despite living in RBS. I had never attended live until this week. It's interesting because just in the last like two weeks, I heard about maybe three, four people that have been doing the shir with us for over two years and they live down the block. They've never been in the base measures. Never been to the base measures in the live shir. For different reasons. So if you are one of those people, come, come, come to the live. It's different. If you don't want to see these guys come, Mr. Shabbos. All four of you are not here. Must have shot. This guy thinks somebody's in America. Oh. However. Uh, but listen to this. This is a Givaldic email. He works full time as a U.S. immigration lawyer. He's coming out of shell. I was wondering. Three days garnish. Nothing. All three of you guys are quiet. You didn't say anything to me. So I didn't say anything to you. Oh, okay. I won't say anything to you anymore. That's it. You're going to be begging me to say. You're going to be begging. However, I did not get the full experience of the NY community. That all changed. Listen to this, Rabbi Sai. I think it's beautiful. When some of my friends at MDY, Rob Early, Mutti Middledorf, met MDY Miami member Michael Benchitrit, Michael and his partner Shmuel Ben Hamu, who run the U.S. immigration law firm, BH, BH Bar Hashem, LG. They made the connection, introduced me to Michael, and this week I joined the firm, and we based in RBS. The one condition they had for me, you hear the savvy? The one condition they had for me joining the firm, that was that I start attending your live share. You did that also, something like that, no? Yeah. The guy Nebuch, he works for them, Adam Weiss. So I don't know, is he here? Shalom Aleichem, Adam. Stand up for a second. Get over here. Come, come, Shai. Say hello. This is a true story you're saying. Adam, it's Meister Shahaya? You started working for the guy? 
And Michael said that on condition that you have to come every day. Come, I want to hold you to it. I want to see your beautiful ponim. And if you're not here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell him to fire you. <laughs> Shalom Aleichem, Adam. Welcome to this year. He's a great guy. Michael, I don't know about the other partner, but Michael's a... And they're accounted as this year and the whole... No, you have to come this year. It's one of the conditions. Beautiful. Does it, could you do it on their dime, though? Could you do it? No. Some places, tell Michael, maybe middle of the day, take an hour out, and he has to pay you for that hour. Shkoyach, <laughs> Michael. Can thank you, Ravelli, and all the other learners around the world, enough for creating this great community based around Torah, the power of the Shir goes beyond the dot by building expanding this great giving you an avenue to help, not only with learning, but Parnasa. Parnasa, he got a job. He, said, he says in the email here that he couldn't pay his bills before him. Parnasa, Zdaka, Rafua, Shiduchim, so much more. And listen to this line, a daf a day is really the way we all continue to learn together in good health. Simple as a chayim, continue to help each other a long way. Thank you again for looking forward to seeing you in person, which we just did. Adam Weiss, Shalom Aleichem to the Shir. The Koilo, sponsored by Anonymous from Lakewood. Wow. Rav Oisai, if you want your daughter to be accepted to Talmud Vora, be part of the Shir, you have a much greater chance. And if she's part of the Shir, she has a much, much greater chance. <laughs> Mr. Eli Stefanski, Lishmas Menachem Toporovich, Menachem Mendel, Shalom Beyo Bala Chaim Yeshua Doi. The Parnas Achoydish, last day, Lishmas Chaim Bas Yosef, Parnas Achoydish, entire MDY family, Lishmas Avram, Menashe Ben, Aaron, Moshe, not Moshe Aaron. Lishmas Chaim Ben Moshe, Rufus Lemo, Ravelio, Ben Zissel, Dvoira. And the coil is sponsored by an from Lakewood, which I said. There's only six sponsors today. Yaakov and Malka Sladis, our son, Alta Yishaya bin Malka Chaya, undergoing surgery today. Rufuo Shlema, Amanda Jeski. Oh, yeah, I forgot to print her email. She said that she lost her father and her brother on the same day, but maybe 26 years apart. And th- therefore, she's doing two things. Lili Nishmat, Moshe David Ben Zev, Moshe, Morris Jeski. And Amanda Jeski also does. Lili is sponsoring Lili Nishmat, Shimon Daniel, Ben Moshe David, Simon Jeski. Unbelievable. Same day. Ah, I think the father was Nifter after. Because I remember reading the email, I was thinking to myself, maybe he had, he had such a tsar that his son was, was on that day. Okay. The Shlafrak family. Lili Nishmat, Menachem Yechiel, Ben David Alevi, Shkoyach, Nisham Shadav and Aliyah. Shamshin Ziegelman, Lili Nishmat, Fredel Bas, Reb Mordechai. And by Abba Renert, Lilishmas, my grandfather, in his yard site, Remeir Shammai ben Abba Moshe Renert. And Yishkoyach Abba Renert, I'm going to say it again. I came to Chicago, and there's two very expensive bottles of wine in my dining room, in a beautiful box. I said, this, this is from New York. I, I, this gift, something like that, taka. It was from Abba Renert, Yishkoyach. And then another gift, and I don't know his name, I forgot his name. I'm going to Bezer Hashem say his name tomorrow, because I have a tremendous Akkarsa I come to Chicago. The first day I got there, there was already a box this big of shmura matzah. It's like, who sent me shmura matzah? Why do I need shmura matzah? I go to the hotel, I get free matzah there. But I brought the box with me. And I took a look at the matzah, and what happened was Schatzer Bakery closed down. So they tried something else. Terrible. I'm not going to say what it was. I don't want to embarrass anybody. Baruch Hashem had this matzah. What? Shimi Braun? Yeah, that was beautiful. It was unbelievable. The whole hotel, I had to like protect my matzah. They're coming. We, have, we can't eat kizaisen. It was hard. and I don't want anybody to, to feel bad. But Bar Park Matzah, I didn't know he owns the bakery. He gave me a whole thing. Plus, he gave me like little baby matzahs for the kids and a seder plates for the kids. It was beautiful. So, Yishkoyach Shimi Braun. That's his name? Shimi Braun Yishkoyach. He was at the Bar Park Museum. What's your name, Tzadik? David Greenbaum. Also from Bar Park? You were at the Shirin Barba, Yishkoyach Dovin. All right. Um, I think we could start. The art is sponsored for complete reform for Chaim Tzvi Ben Leia. So, oh, let's just go like this, maybe. Is that okay? Eh, not too much. All right, so we, yesterday, we had a machlaikas between Rebbe and Chachamim. What language do you read Kriyashmaim? <coughs> Lashon HaKodesh or Bechol Lashon. So Chacham say Bechol Lashon because my button is not working, Gary. Bechol Lashon 
because it says Shema. Shema means you hear. Oh, hold on before we start. Shalom Aleichem. What's your name? Lester Bleich, West Hampstead. Lester Bleich from West Hampstead. Shalom Aleichem. Okay, now we can start. There's probably the other guests, but okay. Because it says Shema. Rebbe says, only Lashon Kodesh, because it says, Vahayu, Bavios and you. Shema means any way you hear it, Vahayu is like this. Okay, now we're holding the last three words on Lamed Beis, Omed Beis. Leima kasava Rebbe, kol ha-toyro, b'chol Lashon Nemro. From the fact the Rebbe needs a special pasuk to say that, Lashen, that, that Shema is said in Lashon Kodesh, in Hebrew. Why do you need a special pasuk? The whole... Torah is in any language. So in Mela, you see from here that Shema is said, I'm sorry, the Kalat Torah is said, Bechal Lashen, in any language. Therefore, the Torah comes and says, No, Vahayu, Shema is different. Why does the Torah have to say that Shema is different than the rest of the Torah? If I could, so what's, first of all, what, is, what does it mean, Kalat Torah? So Rashi says something very interesting. He says it means Kriya Satayra. So again, if we, we understand Rashi, which Kriya Satayra is really a Dirabanan, so Taisis goes on to say maybe he means the Dirabanan, the parts of Kriya Satayra, maybe it means the Bikurim. In another place, Rashi says he means uh, Parsha Zachar. Okay. Kriya Satayra, when you're laying in Shul, Rebbe holds that you could say it in English. Parsha Zachar in English. Why? Because if I need a special Pasuk Vahoyu, to tell me that Kriya Shema has to be in Lashon HaKadosh. Why should Kriya Shema be different than the rest of the Torah? If the whole Torah has to be in Lashon HaKadosh, so Shema is also in Lashon HaKadosh. The Torah says, no, Dafka Kriya Shema has to be in Lashon HaKadosh, the rest of the Torah read in English. Okay, that's Lamed Gimel, Lamed Aleph, which reminds me, Lamed Gimel is like Boimer. I just want to remind Boimer, because last year we had a, uh, a bunch of people that asked if we could dive in for them in Miron. I am not going to be in Miron, I don't think. I tried it out once before the tragedy and whatever. It wasn't my thing. It was too, too dangerous for me. But a guys from the Kail are going and they offer to die forever once. No charge, don't worry. We're not even hinting that you should. You could send the names. It's Peseda. Send in as many names as you want, they'll die with you. Why any special word, Vahayu? He likes standards. It's Rich, Mishum, Dixiv, Shema. No, I wasn't pushing away from me. He actually likes standards. So do I. Fight it out with him. Okay. Says the Gemara, it's the Rich. No. Maybe the whole Torah has to be in Lashon Kaidesh. Mishum, Dixiv, Shema. Now look. Chacham used the word Shema. Don't forget, he's using the word Vahayu, but they have the word Shema. So I would think because it says Shema, it means B'chal Lashen, like Chacham, Chamash Mil Vahayu, that's not B'chal Lashen. But the whole Torah has to be said in Lashen Kaidish. Don't bring me any right. And now we're going to do the same exact thing, but in reverse. Why does the Torah have to say that you can say Kriya Shema in English? Obviously, Kriya Shema in English. It's because the whole Torah, Kriya Satayra, must be in Lashon HaKadosh. So the Torah is saying, oh, Shema, you can do different. Why does the Torah have to go out of its way to tell me that I could do Kriya Shema B'chalashin? The whole Torah can do B'chalashin. So of course, Kriya Shema also. Obviously, the whole Torah can't do B'chalashin. The Torah is just saying, Kriya Shema, you could do. It's like, no. Truth is, you can read Kriya Satayra in English. But you have the word Vahayu that Rebbe learns out. So therefore, the Torah says, and uh, let's go back. What does Rebbe do with the word Shema? Lashmi Laznov. You have to, and Chacham said, you have to hear the words coming out of your mouth. Chacham said, you still, you should, but you still, Vahayu, what did Chacham do with the word Vahayu? That has to be in the right order. You can't say Psukim out of order. Okay. Says the Gemara Tfilo, how do I know that Shmanesre and Davening could be in any language? Says the Gemara, because Rachmehi. It's to ask for Achmanas, for mercy, from Akash Baruch Hu. the Bayi Matzli. Any way that you understand, that's the way you daven. Now I was looking for a good story for Tefillah. And I have a very powerful story. If you know the end of it, don't, don't scream it out. I think because you know it. I'll only say it if it's wrong. It's wrong? Then I'll say something. Okay, deal. 
Very, very powerful story of Tfilo. I was once invited to a Sima Shas. And the Magichir got up and he said, I want to tell you a story that I never told anybody. And he said this fascinating story. He said that he was an average, average guy, average Kishrin, average everything, living in Eretz Yisrael. And one of his friends told him, hey, if you go to the Kaisal 40 days straight, whatever you're down for will be Mequim. So he's like, oh, what are the rules? This guy tells him, you have to go the same day at the same time, same place, and don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. So he gets up there and he says, listen, I did it. I went to the college for 40 days. And I never told anybody what, what I asked for, because that was the rule. Never told anybody. But today, I'm going to tell you guys what happened. I was young. And I didn't need parnasa. I didn't. I just got married. I need a shidduch. Didn't have children. What am I going to ask for? I asked for that it should be a magachir, a big magachir. That's what he said. And Rabbi Sai, I know that this story is true, one hundred percent, because it happened to me. Okay. Ah. Shkoyach. <laughs> Wow. But I said before the story, if you know it, don't ruin it. I was talking to him, but I meant you. When I talk... How do they say it in Yiddish? The, 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 yeah. The, you meant the He said it to the wrong person. Sometimes you want to yell at your daughter-in-law. You don't yell at her. You tell your, your daughter, could you stop making a mess here? What, what's wrong with you? You leave your tissues everywhere. And, they, and you wink to her, but you meant it. When I talk to Nachman, it's you, and you, and you. Zok the Gemara. What tefillah the chalasha? In what you can say, Shmuel Esrei in any language you want. Vamer Rabbi Yehuda, La Oila La Yisrael Adam Tzorcha B'lashon Aramis. You shouldn't ask for anything in Aramaic. And they say Aramaic is Aramaic, and certainly not in English, because Aramaic is very, very close, as we, we learn in Gemara. It's very similar to the Hebrew. Even in Aramaic, you shouldn't ask. The malachim are not going to help you out. They're not going to bring the tefillah. Because they don't even understand Aramaic. I don't want to go into it. But it's a huge nidon. Are you even allowed to talk to a malach like that? <clears throat> Could you go to a caver and ask a tzaddik to help you out? Could you ask a malach? Machnisi rachamim, machnisi rachameinu. What's going on here? There's a big machlox in the Rishon and the Ramam says, Chas v'shalom, you're not allowed to mention any malach. Nobody's helping you. Go directly to HaGesh Baruch Hu. You're not allowed to ask for any help. Who's he the Yavid says, Who's he asking? he's asking the malachim to help the tefillah. Uh, they the, schlep it up. Any tefillah. Who's he asking? Who's he asking? Hashem. Okay. The malachim may be help. Doesn't what, say, what does it mean to help? They bring you up to tefillah. Maybe. What he's not bring? asking the malachim. Hashem needs, the, the, he needs help. You're talking to Hashem. Okay. They I hear, they I hear what you said. I hear. It doesn't say he asked Malach. I hear. You're saying you're wrong. It's, it's in Sidori. What? I'm not saying no. The Gemara doesn't say that. He's, he's a, a fine. No, but the Shaila is if you're, no, da, if you're talking Shailah, directly to Hashem. So Nama says you're not diving to the Malachim, but the way it works in the world is you dive to Hashem. Hashem, uh, the, the Malachim come and they help it up somehow. I don't know. Kaviyochal, he, he doesn't need help, but. That's the way it goes. There's certain channels, they, they make it better. Who knows? Oh, okay. I, that's why I'm not getting into it. It's very, it's very controversial because a lot of people do go to Kfarim and what they say at the Kfarim, so a lot of, of Hasidim, they have, um, what is it called when they do um, the, the miskasher through the Rebbe? Okay, certain things that... <clears throat> exactly. No, the davening, the saying to him, I mean, right. I mean, I hear, I hear. Fine. They say, I think it's Reb Levi Yitzchak, he once saw, uh, it was a, somebody was davening in Shul, Chaz was davening, you know, I don't know if you have it down the shtibos, it's very, he built, so he walks over to him after, after davening, he goes, so the guy says, what? That's what Hashem heard. So the guy said, what do you mean? I'm like a child to, to, to a mother. The mother understands the baby perfectly well. 
So he told him, yeah, if you're a child, you're right, but you're an adult. That's not how adults talk. Adults talk, nah, nah, nah. Babies, yeah. What are you, baby? Fine. I, and this, I'm going to say something controversial because I thought about it this morning and I don't have shot. I'm asking as a kasha. The same way he said that Hashem doesn't like when you go, nah, 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 nah. maybe Hashem doesn't like when you say, please Hashem give me who talks like that to the friend? Who talks like that? That's how you talk to your father. Ah, he puts it in one point five, so he could do he could do he could do he could do point five and make that slow also. <clears throat> okay, I'm just I'm asking. I'm not I'm not I'm not okay. Because I know that most people dive very slow and deliberate. Is that the way? You, that's how you talk to the king. If you were right now talking to the president, you talk like that, Mister. President, please. Uh, get out of here, Michigan. <laughs> yeah. You got to make this fast, my friend. No, what's the story? So he looked at it, he looked at it, he goes, and he goes, who told you to make a challenge out of Pri Shalai? My grandfather felt vindicated. Oh, okay. It's a riot from everything. Okay, good. Says the Gemara. Uh, Emma Avishon, it's Kokolo, Vishim Avishon, Loy Kash. Hobby Yachid Abitzibur says the Gemara, a beautiful thing. Look at this Pasuk right over here. Hain, Kale, Kabir, Velo Yimos. It's a Pasuk in Eoiv. Kabir is a Lashon of Rabbim. When you have a tefillah of the rabbim, lo yimos, Hashem won't despise it, it goes to Takaj Baruch So when you dive in, in the tzibur, you dive in the shul, with people, the tefillah goes straight up. When you dive in by yourself at home, that needs help from Malachi Ashores. Says Gemara Vey Malachi Ashores, Makirin Beloshin Arami, Vatanya. What, you think they don't understand Aramaic? Vatanya, Yechen Koen Gadol. Who's Yechen Koen Gadol? Rabbi Isai, he was the Koen Gadol for 80 years. And then he became a heretic. After 80 years, don't trust in yourself because he's the Kohen Gadol, who's the greatest Jew at the time. He's the Kohen, not just, he's the Kohen Gadol. After 80 years, he went off. But Yochen Kohen Gadol, I think it's him, Shama Bats called him the base Kodesh Kedoshim. He was in the Kodesh Kedoshim. What was he doing, what was he doing in Kodesh Kedoshim? It was him Kippur. He heard in the Kodesh Kedoshim, Shu Oimer, Nitzchu, Talio, the Azlu, Lagach Kravalan, Toichia, this is the Hashminoim. Be defeated the enemy. Exactly what happened. They defeated them on Hanukkah. So, okay. I saw actually the, the Rebaran Kerlin, I think it was, says, I, I don't understand that 100%, but he says that when the Xerah happens on Yom Kippur, it, the Xerah was that it, they should win on Hanukkah. But the Xerah was on Yom Kippur, so they, it's considered Yom Kippur. The year before or the year after? Before. So he, got a, a, he got a Rocha Kodesh. He got a certain Abasco. It's like a Nevoa, a, a lower level of a Nevoa. He got. So you mean, maybe you're what you're saying. Oh, so you're saying that it was one of the victories. A certain victory, not the victory. A battle. I hear. No, but the final battle happened in Hanukkah. The Aha. Uh-huh. But it, that's not what it says there. It doesn't say they took back the base of English. It says they beat them. Okay. The war on Antoichia, which was in Turkey. They been, so I hear that war. Okay. I forgot. There was... What? Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah. Rashi says, I know. Rashi says... Yeah. What? No, I don't think so. So, just as a note, there were only, I think, nine Koyanim Gdoylam in the Bayes Rishon. Maybe 18, I think there's a Shaila, nine or 18, very small number, versus over 300 Koyanim Gdoylam in Bayes Shani. Lilamid, that nobody ever made it past the year. And we always wonder, like, if you're, if you're Koyan Gadol number 260, and there's 260 deaths every year, what's what's... You really think that you're going to be better than everybody? Yeah, I guess. Anyway, the army is gone. Bottle, the Omar, Sona, 
this this king got killed. They wrote down the exact minute that they heard this basket of a kivnu, and that's exactly when he was killed and destroyed. And some it wasn't a like kishbaru. Basket is a malach that comes down and gives over a certain message, and the message was in Aramaic. Says the Gemara, "You say basket." Shani, Dilash Muyavido, it's for you to understand. And sometimes the basket goes to China, sometimes it's in Russia, sometimes it's in the Kodesh Kedoshim. It has to be delivered for the person that's supposed to hear it. So in Mela, the basket is different. Vibay Yisema Gavriel Hava, Domar Mar, Bo Gavriel, Vilimdo Yeshiva Lashon, Gavriel came and taught too. Yosef Atzadik, 70 languages, so Yosef Atzadik can be a king. In order to be a king, you need 70 languages. So that's it. Ramnon Yitzchak, a guy came over to him and asked him once, <clears throat> what does it say in the Torah you have to wear a yarmulke? He says, what do you mean? It's uh, Gavriel Per Gimel. It says, It's okay. I'm just looking, it says Gavriel here. It says in Gavriel. Okay, fine. If you didn't get it, you didn't get it. There is no Navi called Gavriel. Okay, in case... We all went to yeshiva, so we don't know it either. He could have fooled us too. Fine. How do you know Birkas Hamazah can be said in any language? You have to praise the Baruch Hu. And Taisus brings over here, there's a brach and shevach in front of the Shekhinah. This is interesting. Maybe it means Lafuki, what we're talking about. Birkas Hamazah goes straight to the Shechina. So you're talking to the Shechina, at least understand what you're talking about. So if you, if you need to say it in English, say it in English. Another wild thought that I had, and it could be, it's, I, I looked it up on Google, I couldn't find anything, but I'm sure the island talks about it. I don't know, I was, this is sugar, and it could be stupid. But I was thinking, how many people does it take to bring that loaf of bread to your table? How many? I think it's thousands, literally thousands of people. Maybe a million. No, well, somebody has to plant it. And, and, and not, the planting also, for five and a half thousand years, every year, somebody had to plant it. I'm not even talking about that. Today, somebody plants it. And the, the, but how do they plant it? With a tractor. Who made the tractor? There's like a thousand people in China making the tractor. And it gets all these things. Could be Shtosim, but that was the thing. Yeah. Right, that's what I'm saying. Exactly, the parts and the this and the that and the driver. Uh, exactly, okay. So that's why we're giving Shvach Nagash Baruch that this loaf of bread came to my table and it's in one piece in a plastic bag and the whole thing. Every Give up. Shvuas Eidos. We said that if a person says, I want you to, to come and say testimony for me and he denies it, he says, I don't know what you're talking about. I was never there. I didn't see. So, the Chsiv, it has to, it could be in any language. The V'nefesh ki shama Kalala, it heard the the shvua. So the so v'shama is a lashon of anything in any language. Rashi just says maybe it's like the brachas that we learned in Har Grizim, Har Eval. There's a shvua over there also, and that was only in lashon of Kodesh. That was the havamin. It should be only in lashon of Kodesh. The chal lashon shishimas. Any language that you hear, shvua sepikadain. I could make somebody swear that he doesn't he doesn't have in his possession my. Picadin, my, how do you say picadin in English? Huh? Yeah, like a deposit, like a, some, collateral, collateral, better, good, collateral. Asio, techta, techta, mishwas edos, just, we just said a second ago that she was edos in any language, she was picadin also. Ve'elu ne'mar v'chalosha, v'loshan ha'kodesh, mikro, pikurim v'chalitza. These are the ones that must be only in loshan ha'kodesh, the psukim of pikurim and chalitza. Ad, mikro, pikurim, and then you just, the rest of the Mishnah, ad, ad pikurim, keitzad. It says in the Mishnah of Anissa of Amartha, Fnei Hashem Alekiyacha. Ula ala no emer, v'anu ala leviyim, v'amru akolish Yisrael. So just like by the leviyim, ani amur lahalom v'loshon ha-kodesh, avkam v'loshon ha-kodesh, we have exeris shava. Ula leviyim gufayi b'nolah, how do we know that the guf, the, that leviyim have to say it in loshon ha-kodesh? I say kol kol m'moish, aksiv vacha by the leviyim, it says, koil rum, the word koil. Uksiv vacha m'moish, it's a ver velikim yanen v'koil. Interesting, what does it even mean, this word, this pasuk? M'moish is a ver velikim yanen, what does it mean? Moshe spoke to Klai Yisrael, the Aseris Adibris, or 8 out of the 10, and Hashem Ya'anenu Bekol, he gave him a microphone, a speaker. How could he speak? How could one human being speak to millions of people? 
He spoke and Hashem um, projected his voice to Klai Yisro. So we had a machloikis. Where do we know that Chalitza has to be in Lashon Kodesh? We had a Gzeira Shava in the Mishnah. Also Rabbi Yudha said from the word Kocha. Rabbanon, hi Kocha Mayavdele. Oh, so I have a picture here. This was uh, all the way in the beginning of Yivames. So Yoshi did like, uh, this is a Chalitza Afucha, like a messed up of Amaret. Because she's the one that's supposed to spit. He's the one that wears the shoe. Fine. But it says in the Pasuk, she should remove the shoe from his foot. The yarga of a spit at him. But unto amra, kacha yeyase. Like this, just so you shall do. Yeyase is asiya. It's a, it's action with the hands. Kacha mayavdi. Yeboyalu ledaver shu maisa maakiv. So the spitting and the removal of the shoe must be so. So that's what they do with the word kacha. Not the teachers that has to be in Hebrew. Rabbi Yehuda, and how does he learn that it has to be? That's maakiv. You, you don't remove the shoe. There's no chalitza. He learns it from this. The kaf in kacha. Because it could say kai yasa. It says kacha. So we learn two things. They don't darsh in the Now, Tais just points out that it comes out, and we never had the shita in Yavamas, but it comes out that the reading of the psukim is ma'akev. We had chalitza is ma'akev, the spitting is ma'akev, not the reading of the psukim. Da'af Lamed Gimel on Beis by sponsored by Greg Haber for Brocha Atzalcha Parnoso Brios for my entire family Rebelli and everyone learning the Da'af Rabbi Yehuda that learns out the Pasuk from Kacha Kacha he learns yeah this Pasuk Hai Vans of Amra the Gzir Shava the Chacham use my Ovid so he says the opposite of what they say Mi Boyle like Mur Lelevim the Belashon HaKadosh we were learning Vans of Amra from Levim that just like Levim is Lashon HaKadosh, so too Chalitz is Lashon HaKadosh. He says, no, if I care. I know the Chalitz is Lashon HaKadosh. Why? Because it says Kacha. Now that I know Chalitz is Lashon HaKadosh, I'm going to learn to that the same words, Vans of Amra, that Levim are in Lashon HaKadosh. You understand? Before we were learning Chalitz from Levim, and now we're learning Levim from Chalitz, according to Rabbi Yudah. Velelev, call me Moshe. What's wrong with the Gzair Shava that Chacham will learn, we call. Ani ani gomer, call call a gomer. This is a very important insight in Shas. You cannot make up Xeri Shava. Xeri Shava is something that you heard from your Rebbe. And he heard it from his Rebbe all the way to Moshe Rabbeinu. You can't just say, oh, Givaldik, there's two words that sound the same, they look the same, let's make something new. There's no such thing. He did not hear call call from his Rebbe. He heard ani ani. That's the Xeri Shava. So you can't do it. Don't ask me, how come he doesn't learn call call? Because he didn't get it from his Rebbe. Can't make it up. Anytime it says any one of these words, I had a hard time understanding it because what's kol makon? There's only these places. Koi, where's the, for example, koi, koi sevarchu. Kacha, the chalitza. Aniya v'amira, the levim. Okay. Brachas of Klaus Ketzad, Kivin Shavu Yisrael Seyarde. So, just to show you real quickly, Take a look at this. I think this is very nice. Yoshi did this, obviously. Okay. So this is Google Earth. And yeah, there's only one time like that. But what about Koi? What about Kocha? What about Kocha? Okay, so just to give you an overview, and we're, there's going to be more. You, see, you can see the Yardin, the Jordan River, going from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen, parallel to the ocean. And Klai Yisrael went through where, where the red arrow is. Now they're on the other side of the Yardin. They're on the right side, on the east side of the Yardin. Okay, let's see what happens here. This is Shechem. And this is Har Grizim. And Har Eval, and the Koyhanim, the Levim, stood in the center over there. That's how we understand it. It could be very different, but whatever. Just Lahamchish es Hadavar. Okay? It happens to be Har Grizim, Har Eval. They're not giant mountains, you know, Mount Everest. Toises calls them like hills. Okay. 
But this fits into what we have today where Hagrizim is Eval, Shechem. This kind of overlaps what we're talking about. So the Kayanim in the center, Kayanim and Levim, they scream out the brachas, the six shvatim on Har Eval, six shvatim on Har they scream Amen to everything the Kayanim and Levim said in the middle. Okay? Now, this is another, this is Machlaikas. It's, you can see the, the, the Yardin. And you see the sun, I, I put that in afterwards today, so don't, anything that's weird, don't blame Yoshi. So the sun, this is where the sun rises on the east, okay? North is up in this case. North, east is the sun. The Yardin runs up and down. Klai Yisrael, we're on the side, now we're understanding Klai Yisrael was on the side where the sun is. And you see in the top, you see the yellow, green, and red. That's where Hagrizim and Har Eval are, like we just saw the larger picture with Shechem in red, Har Grizim in yellow, Har, I'm sorry, Har Grizim in green, Har Eval in yellow. And we have Rebbe Lezer, he argues, and those are the circles on the lower part of the screen, yellow and green, he says that's where they are. Where they're closer to the Jordan River, closer to the Yarde. Okay? Gilgal is the pink on the bottom, very far away from the Tanakam on the street, close to where Rebbe Lezer says. Oh, so that's basically what the Gemara is talking about now. Torah Rabbanu. Halei heima be'ever ayyarde. Akush Baruch Hu is telling Meshav Rabbeinu, giving instructions. You're going to see Har Evel and Har Grizim on the other side of the Jordan. On the other side of the Yarde. Me'ever ayyarde le'elach, just as a courtesy, as a public announcement thing. If you ever come to Israel, you're a guest in Israel. Highly recommended to go to the Jordan River and take those rafts, No? You go to Kfar Bloom or something like that and take it nice. It's very easy, relaxing. It's a nice trip for the family. Okay. Go to Ever Yardin. Velach. The Rebbe Yudah. The what? Me'ever Yardin means. Me'ever Yardin. Me'ever Yardin. Ve'elach. Ve'elach. It means very far. Very much past the Yardin. Like in the top circles of this picture, they're far away from the Yardin. How did he even get there in one day? How did he get there in one day? Some say it was a nice. Okay. So derech mevoya shemesh, hashemesh means from where the sun rises. So it's very far from the east. In other words, it's in the western part of this picture. It's not in the east, it's in the west. It's another way of saying west. So the kusim, Rashi brings on cherev, when, when he got Klai Yisrael out of Israel, he needed people to settle these lands. He took the kusim and he put them there. Here's a, a picture of a kusi that um, Yoshi did all the way in the Dharam, I think it was. But it's very similar because I found today these pictures of kusim. A kusi is a faker, pretended to be Jewish. And they keep the Torah Shibik Sav. As you can see over here, there's a real picture. They dance with the Torah. But they don't have Tosh They don't have Gemara. So we have big problems they have. What does Taitafais mean? You should put Taitafais Beni Necha. So they, I think they put it Mamish over here between their eyes. What does Taitafais mean? How do I know? Because you go, what? They keep Shabbos. They keep Shabbos. Look what else they keep. I thought it was very interesting. This is Karvin Pesach. You see on the, on the, on the spit, there's, there's, a, there's a sheep on these spits and they put it into the pit. Fine, they keep Shabbos, all these things. Things that are in the Torah. The they, they, and they live where? They live in Hargrizim Adayim Azeh. They call it Shomranim. Look it up. They live over there. El Hargrizim Adayim Azeh. Yashmim Kusim. Mula Gilgal. Samoch Le Gilgal. So, if we go back to this picture, Gilgal is the one in pink. So, that's going to be a little bit of a problem for the Tanakhama. Eitzel Eloini Moira. What does Eloni Moira mean? Where's that? We know it's Shechem. Why? But Avram Avinu says that Shechem is Eloni Moira. So when it says Eloni Moira, I know it's Shechem. But Eloni Moira, I Shechem, Afkan Shechem. Excuse me, but Avram Avinu, it's Shechem, so by us also. Tanya Amir, we love you, I see. B'dav is there, Ziyafti Sifrei Kusim. I proved that the Sefer Torah of the Kusim are false. Tyson brings the Yushalmi that they added a letter 
They added some words. Okay. Amarti Lehem, what's the proof? You forged the Torah and you got nothing out of it. To us, it seems like a simple thing. We read in the Mishnah. Eh, Elohim Moira. What's Elohim Moira? Shechem. I don't know it's Shechem. It says in the Torah, how reason by Elohim Moira? Because we do Xer Shavah to Avram Avinu. But you don't believe in Xer Shavah. You don't have a Torah Shebel Peh. You only have a Torah Shebel Ksav. So how in the world do you know that Elohim Moira is Shechem? Avram Avinu is Elohim Moira Shechem. We agree with it. But I don't know what to do with there's a Maisa <coughs> that the Kusin, they were in a big fight with the Jews and they decided to settle it by, uh, by the king. So the, the, the Jew shows up to the king and he, he's, he's holding his shoes in his hand. So the, king, so the, the Kusin points out to the king, he says, look, he's my he's shoe, he's holding his shoes. So the Jew said, no, 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 by us, Moshe Rabbeinu took off his shoes, I took off my shoes. But why are you holding it? Put it down on the floor. He says, I'll tell you why. Because by Har Sinai, when the Jews took off the shoes, the Kusim stole everybody's shoes. So the Kusim said, I'll prove to you that you're a liar. We weren't even in by Har Sinai. We only showed up later on. So the Jews said, ah. <clears throat> okay. So the Gemara. Huh? 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 Well, so going back to this picture, if I wish I had the button, it's next to the Jordan. It says, that same day, says Rashi, they, they got there. How, how could you get there if it's all the way over there by... by where you're saying it by Shechem. After that, we have a Shemesh. Makam Shacham Shikas. So we're saying for Kert. Where does the sun set? The sun sets not in the like in the picture. The sun sets in the west. So far from the west. In other words, in the east. <laughs> far from the left side of the picture. Go all the way to the right. That's why they're in next to the Jordan on the line. So he asked the Kasha, So Rabbi Yehuda asked the Kasha, How could you say that Har is in Shechem? If it says, Beretz HaKnani, Beretz HaKnani, is in Shechem. It says, Beretz HaKnani. And what does it mean, Knani? One of the Shiva Umois is Eretz Chivi. Now, it's not over there. Hayoshu Ba'arova. Arova means flat lands. Valoi ben Harim Ugvayisim Yoshim. Chivi, they don't live on flat land. They live in, in the mountainous terrain. So it can't be. Mula Gilgal, another question he has. If you look over there, where's Gilgal? The pink circle. Hey, let me get a, a laser for a second. Let me see if the laser works. Here. This is Gilgal right over here. Yeah? And he's saying they, they, they hire Grisim is over here. It's very, very far. How can they see all the way here? Now, according to Rebbe Lezer, I'm right over here. This Har Grisim and Har Evil. I can see Gilgal. It's close. But Rashi also points out, no, even they couldn't see. He's asking a question on himself, says Rashi. On them, on, on the time, it's certainly a question. But on me also, I have a problem. How do they see Gilgal? The... Akash Baruch Hu was telling them how to go in the second time around. That what? I want you to go on the roads. Don't try to go through shortcuts, through fields and vineyards. I want you to go take the actual road and if you have any opposition, deal with it. Go through the cities. Don't go through here. Don't go up the Jordan over here and then sneak in this way. I want to go right through, right through the, the cities. Oh, so this I took out of the Izvahadr Chumash all in the back. We have them over here if you want to see. The way the, the golem worked, 
The degel, each degel is equal to three shvatim. So you see over here, I did one and two. Number one and two in the front. It's three and three. And then you had the arayin over here by this yellow arrow. The arayin was over here. But now, says the Gemara, the arayin was over here in the front. With the Koyanim, the Levim, all the way in the front. They traveled in the direction of this red arrow, I'm assuming. So the arayin is over here. Okay. They were behind six shvatim to the golem. And now the ar is in the front. Every day the levim were able to do it. Today, only koyanim. Three places the koyanim carried ar. Kishavrus and Yarden. One, when they crossed the yard in the Jordan, when they circled Yerichoy, and when they brought Darim back in the time of Shloim, it says Rashi. Now check this out. I just want to show you this uh, drawing because Yoshi worked hard and I want to show it to you today. Once the Kehanim put their feet into the Jordan, so the water retracted. Check this out. <clears throat> Here's the Jordan River. And the, the Aaron comes. The, the water stopped only to their left. It continued going to the right. But where did it go? Check this out. It went. Kinead. It went upwards. How high? That is going to be another drawing that I already did. But he did it for tomorrow. I'll do it. I'll show it tomorrow. But once Klai Yisrael passed the iron, then the water went back down. Gemara says it was 12 mil. Rabbi Isai, have a wonderful day. Yeah.